Hey, an envelope from Sheffield in the UK. Let's see what's inside it. You probably know what's inside it because you've read the video title, so... Um, but unboxings are fun anyway, so... Let's check the bag out. So, let's see what's in the package. Just open it and... Okay, everything is up. So we have a small card from Pimori, Pimori, the guys that sell me the pie. Um, and you can see that you have the board layout and also the pins for the header. Like a small cheat sheet, what are the headers? And yeah, nothing else on the other side. So, really handy to have this small cheat sheet for the pin headers. Then we have an HDMI to mini HDMI adapter. So, so because the Pi Zero has a mini HDMI connector. You need an adapter for normal HDMI cable. So your normal HDMI cable, whoops, can camera goes in here and this side plugs into the Pi Zero. And then we have the an USB on the go adapter, so you can plug in normal size USB stuff into the Pi, and the pin header to solder on later, so we can use the pins on the breadboard. And I guess in here is the Pi Zero. Let's get it out. Eh. Come on. Whoop. And whoop. slides up. And this is, so this is the whole Pi Zero. $5 fully functioning computer and all the stuff I got for 12 pounds which is about 17 euros including shipping and the adapters and all the stuff the full computer for less than 20 euros let's compare the zero to its older brother take all that stuff away for a moment Oop. so let's compare the model b with the pi zero the model b as you can see is much bigger than the zero and has much more connectors. So the B has an Ethernet, two USB, an audio, composite video, an HDMI, the header connector, and I think one is for the camera and one is for some other um, accessory, and the power in here as a micro USB. The Pi Zero, and yeah, of course, the reader for normal size SD cards. The Pi Zero has the chip, of course, it's the same as on here. It has a micro SD card reader, a mini HDMI output, a micro USB to plugging in accessories. This is where the USB on the go adapter comes in handy. And the micro USB for the power, and that's all it. And the header would be gone here, so this would be get soldered onto here. Yeah this way. Um, some nice improvements I like about the Zero. The Zero has four mounting holes on each corner, which makes it really convenient to mount to everything you want. The Model B on the other hand has just two mounting holes and they are just all over the place, so it's not really mountable. And also, biggest improvement I like is that all connectors are on one side. All your cables are going out on one side and you don't have this like spidery cable thing that uh, the Model B does if you want to have just power, uh, mouse keyboard over USB and an HDMI which then goes out to three sides. I think we're going with physical comparison. Let me quick get my small post scale. Uh, where is it? Introducing my trusty scale. Let's see how they compare. So the 
Model B is mostly exactly 40 grams and the Pi Zero is 9. So this thing is 4 times lighter than this big Raspberry Pi. So big improvement. A uh, quick rundown to the specs. So the Model B has 700 MHz CPU and it has 512 MB of RAM on board and the dimensions are 85mm by 56mm by 17 and for the Pi Zero we have get the trusty EV block rule out um, we have 65mm by 30 and 5 up so welcome to my test setup I have two screens here, one with a big stopwatch and one that will display the Pi's output. Then we have the Pi Zero hooked up to the display, to our little USB assembly and to a USB power cord. And this power cord uh, goes then into this USB power meter, which will show us what's the voltage and more importantly how many amps the Pi will draw on power. Now I try to start the stopwatch when I plug in power and go. Let's see how long it takes to boot the Pi. So the Pi's boot screen comes up and here comes the Pi's desktop and we are booted. So it's about 40 seconds to boot the Pi Zero. Now see how long it takes the Model B to boot up. And stop. And we are booted. 44, 45 seconds. So the zero is a tiny bit faster in booting, like five seconds, but it takes almost 200 milliamps less in power to do so. And now we are sitting here idling at 670 milliamps and the Pi Zero was idling at 420 milliamps. So the Pi Zero is 250 milliamps less in idle than the Pi Zero with the same uh, hooked up accessories. So then, my verdict on the Pi Zero. I really like it because it's smaller than the Model B, it's faster, it needs less power, it's lighter, and also the connections here are much more usable than like this spider arrangement if you get this guy hooked up. I think this one not only makes a good media center PC or media center whatever thing you can hook up to your TV or it's just good for retro gaming, running emulators and stuff, but this has the potential to go into many electronics projects and replace Arduinos or whatever there is out there as development boards for the electronics community because it's so light and accessible and so small and so powerful. Yeah, so I, I think the Pi Zero, it's a total winner and I think in the future I want to have more of these. See you in the next video. Bye.